everybody, Michelle with Creative Operation and Country Craft Creations, and I want to share with you this giant, giant design team haul that I got from Country Craft Creations. You guys, this design team package is so amazing, and I'm so excited, and I cannot wait to get into it. Um, I'm going to show you what I got here real quick, and um, then I am going to be busting out some tutorials because I have got some great ideas with this beautiful paper. So first off... I received a ton of seam binding. Look at this gorgeous colors here. So um, all of these beautiful, so some black, some yellow, red, green, and the pinks that will go with all of these projects. So I got a lot of that. Plus I got some lace, some beautiful, this one is kind of an off-white, beautiful lace with like a rickrack trim. And then this beautiful white lace here Look how gorgeous this is. And then from Blue Fern Studio, I got this beautiful um, lace. I, what? It doesn't have a color on it, but it's kind of a peachy color and it has the floral in it. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I, I, I cannot wait to use this, but look at all of the stuff that I got to play with. And then um, she also sent me these gorgeous Prima leaves. And let me take one out and kind of look at it. I haven't even um, really looked at a lot of these. Okay, so these these are actually like, they feel like they're actually um, fabric. They're not like paper and they have a really nice fuzzy feel to them. So these are going to be absolutely exquisite with my fall papers here. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. There's a little acorn in there and everything. Oh, super, super, super cute. So there's like 12 of those in there. So these are by Prima and these are available at Country Craft Creations. And I'm trying to get it in there so I don't bend up. There we go. Okay, so um, then what I wanted to show you is that like two of these I have already done a video on. So I won't go through those today, but I will have a link below where you can see the run through of the paper. So this one is Bewitching Hour. And this is a really, really cute, whimsical uh, Halloween paper. Lots of beautiful colors with the purples and the oranges and everything is just gorgeous um so bewitching hour this is a great package you get three of each design plus you get two each of the cut apart journaling cards and the um, cut apart so i've already done a video on this and i've already actually got a um, video editing in the works of my first design team project using this one so um we won't go through that one today but i will have a link below now i also went through this package christmas cheer and this is a retro themed paper collection and this one is absolutely stunning too and I use this for our handmade for Christmas hop so I've already um, kind of gone through that and made a project with this and, and I can't wait to make another one because I, I want to make a really cool album with this and I just love it I just think this is so adorable so these two will be linked below you can look at that video but let's look at the rest of what I got so I've got um, a couple for fall let's go through that so I've got um, autumn orchard and bountiful blessings and then I also received another Halloween one called Midnight Ride. So let's go through those and then we'll get through the other ones. Um, and I haven't, like I said, I haven't even really looked at them yet. So we'll go through those um, fairly quickly for you. I just cannot wait to get started playing with these. So Midnight Ride, is this not gorgeous or what? So the other one was real whimsical. This one has the vintagey feel and it and a little more scary. So I kind I really like that. So here's the cut apart page and just some super cute cut aparts for us to use. Little scary images and arsenic poisoning bottle and all that headless or, no I guess that's not a head for it's first it looked like a headless horseman but it's a carriage and then look at the back the back is just gorgeous and I don't know if you can see it but there's faint lettering in there and some floral and everything it's really beautiful really beautiful so we have that and um the cut aparts here so it looks like we get two of these in each one so these really awesome cut aparts three by uh, fours and four by fours and then the back of that is this gorgeous purple oh my gosh and again with the faint um, lettering and the floral in the background I don't know if you can see it but um oh my gosh this is really pretty so then we have um, our little witches with our little poison bottles and we got some cats and spiders and all that 
just absolutely gorgeous. And then the back of that is the same pattern background with the poison bottle. So that's super cute. That is super, super adorable. So you get three of those. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. How do you even think about cutting into that one? That is amazing. Ooh, shoot. That one needs to be framed and just hung on the wall. That's gorgeous. Look at that. I love her. Beautiful, beautiful. And all the ghosts, it says welcome trick-or-treaters on the house. This is so gorgeous. And then the back is the moon. Oh, that's so pretty. And the blues, gorgeous. Love this, love this. So we have another little girl in her little Halloween outfit with her pretty pumpkins and her little kitty cats. And on the back of that, we have purple with the candy corns. Super cute. I love the vintagey distress look of it. It's so cute. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful too. So again, more pumpkins and cats, but this has more orange in it. So you can do, you could do an orange theme album. You could do more purple based album. Super, super cute. I love how that is. You guys, these papers are incredible and I've been working with them for a while and they are just absolutely outstanding um, quality of the papers. Look at these beautiful ladies. Oh my goodness. They are absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous and on the back look at their magic wands oh, so pretty I love the colors in this paper it's just absolutely gorgeous oh yes the haunted house and all the bats super beautiful and then the back of that spiders love this you guys these papers are gorgeous you need to go to country craft creations at country craft creations dot com and get you some papers and oh my goodness this is gorgeous little little ones with their pumpkins <laughs> i put a little pipe in the pumpkin's mouth that's super cute i love it and the back of this oh beautiful just plain pumpkins no no jack-o-lantern so that's super cool too oh my gosh these are so beautiful and then last but certainly not least we have the jack-o-lanterns with um bobbin for apples isn't that gorgeous in the back of that with the jack o -lanterns. So cool. I love these papers. They're gorgeous. Okay, you guys. So this one is Midnight Ride from Country Craft Creations. It's absolutely gorgeous. I, I can't wait to get into this. I love this. I love this. I love the colors. Just love the colors. Okay, so let me put this down and grab the other one. Okay, so now we have Autumn Orchard. And this one is an autumn fall based paper collection. So let's open this one. Where is the top here? There we go. And see what's in here. Well, these papers are absolutely beautiful. That is for sure. Okay, so this one is called Autumn Orchard, and I can already tell that I'm in love with these colors too. They're pretty similar to the one that I just showed you, so lots of really kind of dark oranges and purples and blues and everything. So you got your cut-aparts here, and then on the back of your cut-apart sheet, we have a really nice black check, so that's perfect. And I love the fact that the cut-aparts have a pattern on the back so that you don't have to cover them. That's really awesome. So you have two sheets of cut aparts as well. So three by fours and four by fours. <laughs> Super cute. Nuts about fall. I love it. I love it. And then the back of that is this beautiful black with the white lines in it. That's really kind of gauzy look. I love that. And then we have to have the truck. Yes, we have to have the truck. And I love the, the trucks. Absolutely beautiful with all the fall colors, with all the Oh, it's so gorgeous. And I don't know if you can see this, but in the background, it's not just plain. There's there's writing, there's florals in there. We've got some plaid in here. It's just, it's really, really done well. And that beautiful stripe on the back. I love the colors. I just, I'm really, really loving the colors. And oh, this is very cute. So I just made a project um, with a teal truck and scarecrows and pumpkins. So this is like so in my heart right now. I just love it. So with the corn and everything, oh, super cute with the scarecrows and then the beautiful plaid on the back. Love that. Oh, this is really gorgeous too. You guys, this would make a really nice picture layout. 
you've already got a lot of the things add some floral some things you know some flowers give a little dimension put a beautiful picture up here that would be a gorgeous layout for those of you who do 12 by 12s or put a picture to frame on the wall um, this is absolutely stunning I love that with a little scarecrow and your pumpkins super super cute and on the back oh beautiful the sunflower stripes I love that oh that's so pretty more scarecrows I love them they're so cute again you get three of each of the designs which is really cool because then you know you always have enough paper I don't know how many times I've kind of run out of paper and and I love the fact that she puts three in each pack that's really cool so these pumpkins say fall on them and little scarecrows and little crows and the pumpkins and on the back the <laughs> the very cool patchwork that is very cool I love that Super cool. Uh, apple Orchard. Apple Orchard is always amazing for the fall. Um, it's kind of funny how people are divided, either your pumpkin spice or your apple cider. And, you know, I'm not going to start a fight here, but hey, I love them both. So there you go. <laughs> so you got your little red trucks here with your apples. And then you have an apple pattern on the back. These are so cool. These are so cool. Oh, and here we go. We got our little squirrels with their acorns. Super cute. And the, the, the purple... I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really, really rich. It's a really rich purple. I love it. I love fall. Fall is my favorite of all. And the colors are just outstanding. I just oh, I love this. I love this. And then, let's see. we got two more to go. These are gorgeous. The teal and the orange are just beautiful together. Welcome to the pumpkin patch. And the pumpkins actually have some pattern in them as well. So, I mean, this paper is very detailed. Very, very, very detailed. And on the back, beautiful leaves. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You guys got to go to Country Craft Creations and get this because it's really cool. All right. In the Harvest Barn. I love it. I love this. The little town kind of looking thing. And then on the back of that is a beautiful plaid. Oh, this. See, now those are going to be absolutely stunning with that paper. Yes. Yes, they are. All right. So there we have Autumn Orchard exclusively at Country Craft Creations. So next up will be Bountiful Blessings. And this one is a Thanksgiving themed. And you don't see too many like Thanksgiving themed papers out there. So I'm pretty excited about this one. So Bountiful Blessings. And again, really nice, deep, rich colors, but a little more subdued. So not as much um, bright purples and things like that. Um, I, I do love this and lots of turkeys. So this is going to be fun. So here is our cut apart sheet. I just love this. And these cut aparts. So I know some people who have a pick scan. I don't have one um, yet, but I think I'm going to, or not a pick scan, a um, uh, scan and cut. Um, I have a pick scan and I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. So <laughs> I'm a little behind the eight ball on that. But some people have used that very successfully with cutting these out. But I have been just fussy cutting them out myself and they're fantastic. They work really, really well. So beautiful, beautiful cut aparts. Look at that beautiful paper. It is so gorgeous. I just love this. And then, oh, here's your cut apart sheet. So you get two of those. So we have some banners. Um, Happy Thanksgiving, Gather Together, Bountiful Blessings. These would be great for titles. Um, you got your corn here. You've got um, three by four and you got four by six cut aparts on this one. So very, very cute. I love this. It's so gorgeous and very vintagey. And look at the, oh, look at the back of that. That is stunning. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. So those are the cut aparts. And then we've got these cute little turkeys. Aren't they adorable? Super, super cute. You get three of those. And then, oh, good. Some more of the um, vintage uh, writing paper on the back. So that's beautiful. And then we have, oh, our little chef with her knife and fork on a pumpkin with some turkeys. <laughs> it's super cute. Can you see that? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I just love it. That's very cute. And the pattern in the back. Can you see this? It's just absolutely gorgeous. On the back is that pattern. And it's, it's behind all these images. So it just really, I think it makes it pop really pretty so that's that's really pretty so now here's another one that you could totally put your family photo right in the middle of this and add a little bit of something for dimension hang it on your wall and you have got a beautiful decoration for years to come is that not gorgeous or what look at this that is absolutely um stunning i just love that and then again 
the back, this beautiful background here. Just very, oh, so here's another one that you could totally do that with. Um, this is really, oh, I love it, the cornucopia, the beautiful green colors. I just love the colors on this one too. And again, the back with the um, check pattern, absolutely gorgeous. Here is, oh, our beautiful lady with our pumpkins. Happy Thanksgiving. You get three of each of these again. I love the colors. Kind of um, some kind of muted uh, oranges. Beautiful, beautiful papers. This would be really cool. So I'm already thinking I'm going to make a recipe book out of this um, for your family go-to Thanksgiving meal kind of things. And you could, you could actually, you have enough paper in here, you could make several of them. You could give that away as a gift. Um, Cause I know every family, when you get together, you know, mom brings the potatoes and I make this and that um, we could put those recipes in together and that would be a really cool present to give everybody that comes over. So I just, I love this and the pumpkin pie and the turkey and everything. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Thanksgiving and praise song bringing in the sheaves. Beautiful. I love the images. These images are absolutely stunning with the china here and the turkey on the china plate. That is so gorgeous. I love the colors. These colors are gorgeous. Nice and kind of muted, but not too muted for the fall. And the rich reds, their little boy and girl with the turkey and the plate full of apples and stuff. Oh my God, how gorgeous is this? Look at this. Okay, so you guys, Thanksgiving papers. I just love this. Okay, so I'm thinking recipe book with that um, amongst other things. Bountiful blessings, blessings, excuse me, country craft creations. Now, next, let's look at, let's look at majestic dreams. Now this one is really, really cool. This is a horse themed paper and ah, for those of you who are totally into horses and, and all that, um, oh my gosh, this is going to be absolutely beautiful with for the Kentucky Derby, all that stuff. Majestic Dreams. Okay, so let's go through this one. Um, there's the cover sheet. So, okay, here's your journal cards and you have some more borders. So again, the so horses. And you got three by four cut aparts. You got four by six cut apart. Look at how beautiful the images are. I love the vintage. I love the vintage look. It is so gorgeous. And this this frame right here actually looks real. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it actually looks like it should be metal right there. And then you have this beautiful background. Look at that with the nice, subtle, vintagey, distressed floral thing. You have your cut aparts. I love these cut aparts. And again, they're super easy to fussy cut if you don't have like a scan and cut or a pick scan or anything like that. So Kentucky Derby, horse related. This is beautiful. Look at the background on that one. Absolutely stunning. That is gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So we have our horses and we have our jockeys. Again, if you're into the Kentucky Derby, this would be a really great one page layout. Um, and again, framing it for your wall. Oh, and the horseshoes on the back. Super, super sweet. Now, you, again, you're getting three of those. So then you have your lovely ladies with your horses. And at the Kentucky Derby with all the roses. Absolutely gorgeous. Maps behind. And all the, yep, all that stuff behind the images. So you can have this. You could fussy cut it, these out as well and use them in your projects. I love the roses. The roses look like they could pop right off the page. They actually look 3D. They're so good. These papers are amazing. Oh, there it is. Kentucky Derby Jockey Club. That is absolutely stunning. I love this. I love the open space. This is really pretty. Oh, and on the back, these are gorgeous. All the medallions with the people with their horses, all the jockeys and the ladies and everything with their horses. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and these, oh, look at these. And I have to admit, I've never, I never had a horse. I rode a horse once when I was a kid. They're absolutely beautiful, majestic animals. And this is absolutely stuff. Have you ever seen papers that are dedicated to um, horses? Have you ever? I, I've never seen it. And I just think that this is something that a lot of people are going to absolutely love. Oh, and look at this. So strips here, which is awesome because I can see these on pockets. 
totally could see that as strips on pockets. Beautiful. And look at the back of that. I love the colors. The colors are gorgeous, and the horses are beautiful. So I hope I'm not going too fast. I've got so much to go through. Um, oh, now here you go. Here's here's a good page. I know about mint juleps. <laughs> so there you go. You have your mint julep page right here. Giddy up. <laughs> and you have the back here with the beautiful ladies, and you could fussy cut a lot of this stuff out. This would be um, perfect for that. So I, oh, I love that. That's very cool. And then we have more horsies and um, we have books. What does it say? Ooh, a stud book. There you go. Beautiful with the jockeys and the roses. And there's um, in the background, there's floral, but there's also writing in it. And then on the back floral with the writing in it as well. Those are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And oh, this one, this is the last page in here. Um, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So this is Majestic Dreams. And this is horse and Kentucky Derby related. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. Okay. All right. Good gravy. I can't believe the size of this design team package. I am so excited. All right, so we have this one, and this one's called Sweet Southern Mess. Love this. I just love this. So I'm totally like a cooking fanatic, and I love recipe books, and this is going to be awesome. I can already tell that, um, yeah, I'm going to have another cookbook out of this, but can you have too many? I don't think so. Um, especially for someone like me who collects them all the time because I make lots of recipes all the time. Okay, Sweet Southern Mess with Country Craft Creations. Let's go through this. And oh my God, I'm in love. Really beautiful, bright colors with all of the yellow and the teal and the cut aparts are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, can you see all of that? So country themed, look at Wilbur at the door. Super, super cute. On the back of this, super cute vintage -y feel, retro feel. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. We have um, cut aparts again. And again, we have Wilbur there. We have cows and chickens. So this is, is totally like home sweet home, farmhouse related. <laughs> I love this. This is beautiful for a one page spread with the barn and everything. This is super, super cute. You could even fussy cut some of these things out if you wanted to and then add them in different spots. This is absolutely gorgeous. The back of this is a super cute plaid. I love, or not, yeah, I guess it is plaid. Um, beautiful colors, I love it. They're very bright. Oh, I love this, this is really cute. Wilbur here, home sweet home. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I just love it. The lace around the edges, this would be a really cute layout as well. I love the back of that too. That's really cute. I love that. Okay, so we have some florals. These papers are so bright. I just I just think that's awesome. You're getting three of these. And then the back of that is the same as one of the, um, the cut apart sheet. So you get more of that, which is really cool. I love that, I love those colors. <laughs> your cows with your little towels and your milk jugs. That is super cute. And the cows, I don't know if you can see, they look like they're applique on so they look like they're sewn on there. Super cute. The back of this, oh, oh my God, I love it. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. This totally is like, um, you know, I did that recipe album with the What's Cooking collection and um, same um, feel for me. It just has a really cool retro vintage-y feel and I just love it. Look at the flowers on here. And then the red back here, absolutely gorgeous. You could fussy cut these out and use those as accents on pages and stuff. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, and a little bit of gardening because this is, you know, kind of um, a farm homestead kind of thing. So we have to have our gardening in here. So that's super cool. You could do something totally with that for the gardener in your life. Love that. The little garden gloves. And then we have birdies and the bird houses. So this is also super cute. And again, the little birds have like kind of a, um, almost a stitched feel on there. They have like a, a jagged edge around them. So they look like they're stitched on, applique on. Super cute, the back of that. Oh, this is really cute. Kind of this red floral pattern. I like that. And then we have more florals. So you could do a ton of different things with this paper. I just, these are super bright and super, 
beautiful and I just um, I can't wait to dive into this too so I can see a lot of different projects with this this is a sweet southern mess and I just absolutely love it I just absolutely love it so it's a country summer themed um, homestead you could do recipes you could do gardening you could do farm whatever you wanted so that's um, this is this is a really cool package too so I love this all right so last but not least definitely not least I have an eight by eight pack of Christmas dreams and I cannot wait to get into this one um, this is beautiful so it's it's not the traditional red green Christmas papers that you're used to seeing so this one is p uh, pink and blue and pastel -y and gorgeous so let's dive in so again this is an 8x8 pack and we have our sheets of um, our cut aparts. So beautiful images. We got Nutcrackers, Santas, little girls with their dollies, little boys and girls on sleds. Just absolutely beautiful. But again, the, the kind of pink and blue pastel um, kind of Christmas theme. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that Santa? I hope you can. In his buggy. Oh my God. Love it. On the back of that is this oh, beautiful pink paper. We have a sheet of cut-aparts with, um, again, some more strips, so ornaments and, and um, um, mittens. And then we have little um, mini journaling cards. So these, since this is an eight by eight pack, so these are two and three quarters by four, and the little ones are two by, let me see if I can get it right, two and five eighths. So they're cute, they are very cute beautiful with the angel the church in the back the pink church and the nutcracker super cute and then we have okay so this is a uh, kind of an ivory version of the back of the other one and we have our angels singing just absolutely beautiful papers in the background to that really beautiful with the gold kind of flavor to it and then we have our um, church here with our beautiful pink Christmas tree and this beautiful background. If you can see, there's writing in the background of this. So it, it looks already kind of, you know, distressed and um, kind of vintage. But you have all your little people here, lights in the church window. It just looks real. It just looks like they could just pop. The designs are just so amazing. Beautiful colors in the back that. Oh, and little girl with her baby doll. So we've got three of those. And then like this tufted background with the jewels. That is gorgeous. And the ribbon down here. That's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And then, oh, yeah. Gorgeous. With the holly and the... Oh, these papers are stunning. <gasps> look at this. Oh, my God. Look at the ornaments. Look at the colors. Oh, my gosh. That makes me want to change my whole Christmas theme in my house. Isn't that pretty? I love the pink and the blue and the gold there. I just love that. That's gorgeous. And then on the back of that, we have this beautiful pink and blue stripes. We have our nutcrackers. I've got to have nutcrackers. This beautiful pink background and your holly. So there you go on the back of that. I love how the backs are coordinated with the fronts. That is very, very cool. Love that. You could totally fussy cut those guys out too. <laughs> and then we have our little sledders. Oh, so sweet. Those little faces are adorable. And then all the mountains and the trees and stuff. So that's really beautiful too. These, these are absolutely stunning, stunning. And here's Santa. We got Santa here. So, wow. Beautiful papers with the Christmas trees. Look at Santa sneaking in. Little girl sleeping. Super cute. Super cute with the poinsettias. I love that. I love this. I love this. Love this. Love this. And last but not least, we have Santa with some reindeer flying through the sky. And then we have the background with the moons and the stars and that beautiful. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. You guys, this is an absolutely gorgeous Christmas collection. So this one's called Christmas Dreams. So y'all, that's um, my design team package haul. Let me grab these up and put these back. Um, go to Country Craft Creations at countrycraftcreations.com and pick up your papers. You're going to be absolutely stunned. Mm -hmm. 
The papers are absolutely gorgeous. The colors are stunning. You get all of these papers are just amazing. The quality is amazing. Um, and don't forget to go to my other video I linked below to go through these um, since I have already done those. And then um, go to Country Craft Creations, get your seam binding and your lace and all these other goodies. And I will see you back really soon with some tutorials. So thanks for watching. Have a really awesome day. Bye-bye.